I watch a lot of films. Some people would say too many, I'd say there's no such thing. And this past week is no different, I watched quite a few films. In order, I watched Upstream Color, which is Shane Carruth. Carruth? It's his second film. And I'm not going to tell you what it's about, because... One, I'm not entirely sure yet. I'm gonna have to watch it again. And two, because I don't want to ruin it. Because it's something quite special. If you've seen Primer, which is his first film, then you'll know what I'm talking about. These are not films that you want to talk to people about. You can read the little bit on IMDb, but then you should just really watch it. Side note, Primer is my all-time favorite film. Then I watched Smashed, which features Aaron Paul, who is Jesse on Breaking Bad, and Mary Elizabeth Winstead, who you may know as Ramona Flowers from Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Smashed is about two alcoholic people who are married, and then the wife decides to sober up, and then the effect that has on them as individuals, and on their relationship, and on their environment. And it was really a lovely film. Uh, it felt really sincere and realistic. And I don't know if I should say this, but in my opinion, this film has the absolute best last line of any film I've ever seen. It it gives me chills right now just thinking about it. Then, because I watched Smashed, I decided to also watch Scott Pilgrim vs. The World again, because I really like the cinematography and the style, and it might not be the best film ever, but it it is a very unique thing, and I really like the, the sense of humor it has, and the, the style, and the way it is a comic book, and it, it's a game, and it's a film all in one, and it's this really interesting concept that I really enjoy. Who am I kidding? I'm telling this to the internet, you know. After that, I watched The Adjustment Bureau, which I'll get to in a minute. And then uh, my dad hadn't seen Looper yet, so I watched that with him. That's also a really interesting film about time travel. Uh, if you don't know what it is, it's quite good. And I'd just like to note that Joseph Gordon-Levitz has a pretty stellar performance in that. Because there wasn't a second uh, when he was on screen that I wasn't seeing a young Bruce Willis in him. The way Bruce Willis talks and acts and, well, looks, but that's big, that's the makeup department, I'm guessing. He does such an amazing job at that, and also the story of the film is something that's quite good. Right, so The Adjustment Bureau. I'd never heard of this film. Uh, it was on TV, so I figured, hey, let's try this. It, it seems interesting. Let's see if it's any good. If you don't know, it's this film about uh, an agency that basically runs the world and they make sure that all humans stick to a plan that is laid out for them. It's sort of Truman Show meets 1984 in some ways. So I'm watching this and I'm really getting into it, I really like it a lot. And of course there's too many ads, but that's a battle I'm not going to fight today. And it gets to the point where the entire film has been working up to this, this climax and then right in the middle of a scene it cuts away for a news broadcast. Now if this was breaking news, stuff that people needed to know immediately, I'd be absolutely fine with that, because that's important stuff. But this was a scheduled broadcast about news that had been on all day, if not longer, and celebrity gossip. And what made it even worse was the film only had 10 minutes left. This channel didn't want to postpone their news broadcast by 10 minutes, so they thought, hey, let's interrupt this film for it. <sighs> this is why I don't watch TV anymore. This is why I watch all my shows and films online. So yeah, that's me enjoying films and getting worked up by annoying TV channels. Yeah.